Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It is Lake Kate here with another horse life video. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a challenge. We're gonna actually be trying to convert the fey species into a hive wing. If you don't know what hive wings are, they're actually from Wings of Fire, a book that I've read in the past that I've been obsessed with. And it's basically a series that you guys can read. I wanted to try making a hive wing hive wing because fays have a very similar body structure to the hive wings, as well as they do have dragon wings in the game now or dragonfly wings so we're going to be trying to convert this guy into the best looking possible hive wing with that said though hope you guys do enjoy and wish me luck because this might be a little difficult so the first one i'm going to start off with this petal petal looks kind of like a silk wing if i'm being honest but i do want to turn this into a hive wing in order to do that i want to get the base color which is yellow i also want to keep these dragonfly wings as they are the closest resembling to the hive wings wings so i'm going to try getting a yellow color base i don't know if i necessarily have any yellows i do have buttercup here but i'm not sure if that will be able to transfer over the yellow i also do have a yellow glow fey which is right here that i'm going to probably be using as well to get that yellow yellow part of it to be kind of on to pedal and the offspring that petal gives me so hopefully i can do something like that i also do want to make the offspring bigger and acorn is much bigger than petal is i think acorn is normal size and i don't know why but petal's a draft oh it's because she's a baby never mind okay well petal's a draft which makes it perfect because the hive wings are normally big they're normally bigger than most so i want to try making it a big kind of fey so then it kind of represents how the hive wings look so an hour into this i did get some progress from this it was actually near impossible to find any yellow phase in auction or in the stalls as well as actually finding a yellow color itself on any species i did manage to find a gargoyle which this one kind of looks a little wonky but it does have the marigold trait for the color so i'm hoping to kind of get that over on one of my phase eventually it's really hard because it's a gargoyle so most of the offspring are gargoyle so it kind of sucks i did get this one from breeding this is going to be what i use for traits basically not all of this is going to be in the official thing kind of want to get rid of some things and add some things but the horns on here are the best we're going to get at kind of mimicking the little horns that we have on the hive wings as we don't really necessarily have any for phase we just kind of have antlers so we're going to have to make do as well as for the scales we don't have necessarily any scales for the phase so i'm going to try using this trait right here to kind of mimic the scales and i want to make those a little bit darker too of course this is not the official colors i'm just trying to get the traits first and uh, I'm having a very big problem trying to get yellow on any of my face. So that is the great uh, progress of my project. Finally, it was literally 20 minutes of me just clicking and feeding these horses to actually get this marigold onto my horse. Now it is on the wrong pattern. I want it to kind of be on the um, primary color and then the pattern's like black but i can eventually get that there so goodbye to this gargoyle i do not need you no more thank goodness i got that that was so long i don't know why it takes so much effort to put yellow onto a fey while doing this project i have to say there is a bunch of beautiful predictions i'm getting obviously they're probably not going to show now that i'm recording but there was some beautiful like predictions that i could get from this which is actually pretty cool but none of it's what i want like this one's pretty cute i'd actually keep that not gonna lie um it also is a little bit darker on these little traits that i'm trying to get so i might keep that if i got that but they are very beautiful like i love this color for some reason on these patterns but unfortunately it's not what i'm looking for okay so i finally got the color i wanted on the uh scale like patterns that i'm trying to reference off of if this little horse will actually follow me i don't know why so all i need to do now is make this the primary color and this is the pattern color and then i can transfer the traits over as that's kind of like the main concern at the moment so that's gonna be pretty difficult to do i think they're both the same gender as well yeah that they're, they're, they're both the same gender that really sucks but we're gonna find a way to eventually transfer these two colors together and in the right spots but i'm getting there i'm getting closer it's kind of looking good uh, I think it's pretty promising. This is like an hour and 30 minutes into the project test, so um, wish me luck. Okay, so after a while, I finally got the color that I wanted on the Fey here. You can see it's not the texture I necessarily want. It kind of does look a little bit wonky, but once I grow Peach here, who actually does have a corn color, which is not necessarily marigold, but is the best I'm probably going to be getting because it's spent freaking like 
two hours just to get this color on the top coat. It was so easy to get it on the patterns. You can see here marigold was so easy to get on the pattern, but for some reason the top coat was very hard to get. So we're going to be using peach here to breed with probably one of my other project horses. I don't know where they are at the moment, but they're going to be bred with one of those. And hopefully I can get this stupid material off and I can start adding on the traits as well. And then eventually I will be done. This project has been taking longer than I thought and it's also more difficult because phase are the newest addition to the game meaning that they are also much harder to breed and everything so this has been definitely a journey and I can't wait to see what it looks like finished okay so I'm about to do the boss so I have to do this quickly but I did attempt and I managed to get marigold on the top coat now the trick is to get the traits that I want with these colors as well as changing the hair because I don't know what that is on the hair that's disgusting but I am so happy that it took 30 minutes to get this marigold after I did find pumpkin here in auction and I used this with one of my phase and eventually I got this marigold color. So I'm super excited, super happy that I actually got what I wanted with the colors. I did also get the black too, which is amazing. So the only thing I'm kind of missing is basically the, just the traits and also the dragonfly wings, which is going to be also very challenging to put on as well, but the challenge is uh, already too late to change. Okay, so finally after a day, I finally got what I wanted in these hive wings. Peach here is actually what I fully wanted. Now, I don't really necessarily like the green, but it's been impossible to get this green off, unfortunately. We also have Burger, which Burger I'm going to be giving away and also has a glow on her, so she is pretty cool looking. She is another type of hive wing that I bred as well. The other two um, are technically like high wings, but they do not have wings because it's super hard to breed these wings I've been predicting forever and it's like impossible. So I've probably spent over 30,000 coins in total on predicting to get these wings onto these hive wings. Unfortunately, it's very hard to get these dragon wings, which I didn't think would be the hardest part, but apparently it is. So I'm going to try breeding a bit more of these uh, hive wings in with these wings to give away, as I'm going to be keeping peach and giving away the rest of them. I also will be giving away some of the ones that don't have wings too, so that is going to be something I'm going to be doing. Um, so I'm going to just basically do a bunch of breeding and then uh, bring you guys back. Okay, so after a full week of doing this breeding project and eight hours going into actually doing the breeding project itself, I finally finished what I wanted to accomplish. Now, I feel like it could have been a little bit better with the breeding project, but I feel overall that I did a pretty good job on making them kind of look like hive wings, the best of my ability. Now, there are different variants, as you can see Peach here is different looking than Burger. I kind of wanted to have a little variety of patterns and traits that go into the hive wings to make them more unique um, and you can see the ones that I'm showing right now with the wings how they're all kind of different patterns as well and they're kind of all related so you can kind of see the similarities with the horses as well for the giveaway aspect of this video we are going to be doing the giveaway on the discord channel if you guys don't know I have my youtube discord channel linked in the description I'll also put it in the comments and that is where these horses will be found for their giveaways. I will do the glow wing, or not the glow wing, the glow paint uh, hive wing, which is burger separately as she is a glow. So that kind of makes it so she's kind of different. And then the other two winged, because I'm keeping at least one of these horses, the other two winged will be separate. And then the rest that are non winged will also be in a little giveaway together. So in conclusion, there will be three different giveaways that you guys can enter and possibly win. There'll be multiple winners as I do have multiple of them to kind of give away. So that's where the giveaway is going to happen is in the Discord. In the future, I'll be doing other projects, which I might do some on the YouTube since some people can't join the Discord, which is totally okay. Um, but for now, we're just going to put them in the Discord and that's where you can find the giveaways. So be sure to join that if you want to actually enter the giveaways. I'm going to be doing a series, so the next one's probably going to be like a mud wing or something that I will be trying to replicate into the game. So let me know which one you guys want to see next as I'll be doing the Wings of Fire theme first. And this will kind of be a little series of these things. And then at the end, I'll do a massive giveaway of all the themes to give out to people to enjoy. With that said, though, I hope you guys did enjoy. And let me know what you guys think. Um, this is kind of my first breeding project. So obviously, if you guys think I could have done something to make it easier, 
or something around the sorts to kind of help me then be sure to let me know because I normally don't do breeding projects and this is kind of my first one so I'm pretty proud of it um, but if you have anything you want to add just let me know and uh, I'll see you in the next one bye